just works well. Dream the dream by the old canal. I kissed my girl by the factory wall. Dirty old town, dirty old town, dirty old town, dirty old town. Wasn't a merry month of June The first from home I started Left the girls at June All sad and broken hearted Saluted father dear Kiss me darling mother I drank a pint of beer Me grief and tears This mother then after Beat me corn Lay where I was born Cut the stout like torn The banished ghost Went up me back New pair of brogues Rattled over the bogs Like the the dogs Over the rocky road The double and one Two three for four On the hair Turn her down the rocky road And all the way The double and back for In Mullingard at night I rested limbs So where he started by daylight Next morning bright And there he took a drop of the pure Kept me heart from sinking That the paddy's cure Every son for drinking to see The lassie smile Laughing all the while At me curious style What's at your heart? The bubble and asked me Was I hired? Wages I required The I was nearly tired Of the rocky road The double and one to three for play On the hair Turn her down the rocky road And all the way The double and mic for the Double an extra bribe, I thought it'd be a pity to be so soon the bribe of you, but that my city so then I took a stroll. All among the quality bundled it was stole. In the neat locality, something crossed me mind. When I looked behind the bundle, could I find upon me stick a bubble and quaint out of the road? Said my comic bro, was it much in vogue? Up on the rocky road, the double and one to three for five. On the hair, turn her down the rocky road, and all the ways the double and back for the From there I got the way me spirit I stare my bail and landed on the cage Just as the ship was sailing Captain asked me roar Said the no room paddy When I jumped aboard a cabin Bound for paddy Down the the peaks Played some party peaks And some party cheeks The water fell me bubbling Men the tally head Wish myself was dead I bet the fire of stead Up on the rocky road The double and one to three for four Liverpool, when we safely landed, called myself a fool. He could no longer stand the boat, began to boil. Tamper, I was losing poor old Erden's oil. They began abusing their mammy, so that I should lay. I let fly, far away, boys, far away. Sorry, boys, a hobble in with the love of the play. Joined it into your play, quickly cleared the way. For the rocky road, the double and one, two, three, four, four. On the head, turn her down the rocky road. And all the ways, the double and one, four, 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 four.
Bradham and Funis. Queen Ushula, Fultis Kate, Quig and Okoid, Starul is a special to show his teacher. Sarhos Nomi is Kupla Rilacha of Winners, the Cortes of the Waltukta. In Nom, the Domek Egendol and Oct, Oct, Shaggy in the Bali Elocta, Tree, Tev, Tev, Hier Div, Kion Award, Unsher, or Clay, I was Kion, or Gottev, then Stoicher. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to see so many of you here this evening, um, and I would like to thank each of you individually uh, for coming along here this evening. Just a couple of house rules before we start, if you don't mind putting up with me. In the event of a fire alarm sounding, there are six safety exits from this hall, three directly behind you, which most of you came in, one here to my left, your right as you're looking at me, and one on either side of the stage. In the unlikely event that the alarm should sound, I would like you to move quickly but safely towards the exits and to exit the building entirely onto the footpaths. I always make this announcement and it feels a bit like stewards or stewardesses on an airplane. The last time I did this from this stage, there were 600 people in the hall and when I said thank you, the alarm sounded. So it does happen. Um, while we're waiting for the Lord Mayor, I just want to give you a brief history of this event and because John is keeping me to a very tight schedule. It will be a very brief uh, version of it. It's mission typical Gael Gael the Corla Capra Kirky Algus Gaplian Agreemshire Ruddy the Shock to the I'm the Irish Development Officer here, among other things, for Cork City Council. And every year we organise uh, events during Shock to the As most things like this happen, uh, this concert is the result of a mad conversation over a cup of coffee about four weeks ago. Those of you in the hall, whoever organised an event, know that organising an event like this usually takes a committee of about 30 and about six months to organise. This happened, very unfortunately, two days after the invasion of Ukraine started. Uh, John Spillan, Kjol Torden Sko, uh, Agus Karelesh, uh, Brian Hassett, and I sat down and said, we, we need to repurpose Shakhtar Nguelga and we need to do something about this. So in the shortest possible time that an event like this can be organised safely, this entire event was turned around in about three days. And then started with that, so. In case I forget to do so, with your patience, I'm going to do my thank yous now because it's going to run over time and it's going to be a fantastic gig and I won't get a chance to come back up on the stage and I don't want to spoil the party. So um, a couple of thank yous. The, the most important thank you uh, is looking at me rather than me looking at you. Every ticket that was sold to this concert was sold in ones, twos and threes. Not block booking, not corporate buying. People like yourselves who believed enough in this cause to buy your tickets online inside a couple of weeks. There's one lady here, and I will introduce myself to her later, who was found wandering around the building today um, looking for the call to see what it was like because she bought her ticket online in London. That's the extent of people do it. So to her, a special thank you. The other important thing that happened was that every musician who's here this evening answered the call from John with when. Not what or how much, but when. And there are some people who would have been on the bill tonight who, because of other commitments, couldn't be here, and I'd like to thank them also. So, um, <laughs> before I go, and I know he'll kill me, um, I'm an Ifukuk Gwelga but there's somebody with a little black book who pulled out all the stops to have the kind of stellar cast that you have here tonight and the person who works with them. So at risk of embarrassing them and getting a slap, unlike Chris Rock later on this evening, um, I'm going to thank especially uh, John Spillan and Brian Hassett of In Bloom Agency. <laughs> Ian Richards on sound and the videography by Frameworks Films. Coffee for the masses outside while they were doing their tune-up by Bro Catering and the brochures by MBE. So I think Brian have probably thanked everybody. So that's enough for me. All that remains for me now is to, to welcome onto the stage uh, Ordvera Corky, Lord Mayor of Cork, Colm Keller. Chris <laughs> 
Tabron Rum, Tom Janok, V. Sustaira Shomra, Ardna Ardvera, Leshna Pashti, or Gwales Kulgartalin, Agus Gwales Galleria, the Agus Vishketamini Moor, or Aran, so Tabron Rum. I'm very late because I brought the school children from Gwales Galleria and Gwales Kulgartalin up for a personal tour of the Lord Mayor's office, so I'm sure you'll, you'll excuse me. Um, it's a great honour and a privilege to be here tonight uh, to stand in our famous concert hall, our concert hall that um, has been gifted back to us by the HSC after serving the city and the region over the last 18 months um, as a vaccination centre. And the People's Hall, as I would affectionately call it, and members of Cork City Council would call it, um, is something that everyone remembers. We can all come, remember coming to a fish match or, or fish match or a disco or anything that happened in City Hall, but it's a focal point for the people of the city. And I think it's, you know, very, um, you know, it, it, it's very apt that it, we're holding a night in aid of the Ukraine here uh, tonight. Obviously, what's happening in Ukraine at the moment is absolutely deplorable. There's families being torn apart, mothers being struck torn away from their sons, husbands being torn away from their wives and children, and it's absolutely deplorable. So what we're here to do tonight is to show a sign of solidarity with the Ukrainian community that are in our city, and also the Eastern European community that are in our city as well. And we know what it's like to be flung to the four corners of the world as a people. So in my capacity as Lord Mayor of Cork, when Chris and came up with the original idea of this, and I'd like to thank you for all the work you've done, Chris, in, in arranging this and pulling it together in such a short time, I thought, you know, the concert hall was the right place to do it. I'd like to welcome the elected members of Cork City Council here tonight. I can't see all of you, but I'm assuming there's a few of you out there. Um, and I just hope you went tan of us and uh, enjoy the night. And we're here for, for the right reasons. But, you know, today I had a, a visit from the German ambassador first thing this morning. And uh, the German national flag was flown over the Lord Mayor's office, as is customary for any ambassador that would, would visit um, or any dignitaries that would visit City Hall. And uh, the first thing I noticed was, they said, we have a concert for the Ukraine here tonight. We have the uh, Ukrainian flag has, been, has had pride of place over the Lord Mayor's office since the onset of the conflict. And um, I waited, and I waited, and the German flag remained, and the ambassador vacated the building, and I waited, and I waited, and I waited, and, I waited, and eventually um, I just said to Nikki in corporate affairs, we have to get the Ukrainian flag back up before they all arrive in here. So tonight is a night for the Ukraine. Tonight is a night for the Eastern European community in Cork, and tonight is also a night for peace. Gormila Mahagov Kaler. Six minutes past eight and we're already running late. I'm going to be murdered here. Uh, before I, I hand over to Farati for the evening, I did promise uh, Tatiana that I would try to say this, so um, I would like to make a special uh, welcome to our Ukrainian visitors who are here with us and all from Middleton. Where are you? Love it to us. Uh, and we have 40 special guests also in the back of the hall. So I did say I would try to say this properly. So, Dobrojo Vaitore y las Cavo Prosimo. Aguini Ushla, Kurgi Falta, Quig Sean Ospilan. Green Magwith. Um, all the way, ladies and gentlemen, from Shlee of Luachra, we have some wonderful music from the Cayley All Stairs.
That's the fantastic Kaylee All-Stars. Aren't they brilliant? Um, my name's Karen Casey, and I'm delighted to be here. Um, I'm going to sing a song. Um, it's very new. I don't even have the words or, or the title. But I'd love if he could um, help me sing the chorus. It's just uh, hear how the music, it heals. And it's just really sending love and solidarity to the people of Ukraine. So <clears throat> I'm after kind of losing my voice. So I'm hoping you're all great singers, are ye? Good. Okay. <clears throat>
very much. Did anybody sing? Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, so uh, we're going to do, uh, I've been singing for years. Um, it's called The King Shilling, and it's a great um, anti-war song. And I'm delighted um, to be joined by Tosh and Stan and Lisa and Floor. And thank, thank you to them all. <laughs> The one and only Karen Casey. We're very lucky to have Karen Casey uh, living in Cork. Um, our next item, ladies and gentlemen, is a, a young Ukrainian uh, musician with a Cork poet. So please welcome Theo Dorgan and Nadia Yalova.
This beautiful city, so many people here to show their solidarity and support from Wintenu Ukraine and to be treated to such beauty to remind us what is being destroyed in the beautiful city of Mariupol, burning even as we're sitting here. It's really quite an extraordinary moment. Lord Vera, I'd like to say it was, um, it did not go unnoticed that the first public building to be lit in the Ukrainian colors was Halina Kahrach, Rebel Cork. This poem is called Prayer to the Mothers of Rain. Send down your sweet cascading rain on all who burn. Wrap them in sea mist and gather them to the pool. Deluge their upturned faces, O oh, let fall cataract, sheet rain, torrent of cold water, that their bones may cool, their furnace hearts fall quiet, that dry rage cease. May they find peace who are in fire, wreathed and bound, or oh, bring them on home in your song of water, you who were daughters once, now, mothers forever, send down your rain, your cold, consoling rain. And this poem is having its um, world premiere. <laughs> God help me. So if you don't like it, please don't tell me. It's still too raw. It's on a night like this, I imagine a great grand piano behind me on the stage and that far usul mihala sulawain crouched over it like a hawk is one of those we lost in the last few years and he'll be sadly missed. This is Marvna, or Lament, Marvna on a grand piano for Mihala Sulawain. So you have to see him behind me. That's the only help you can give me is to see him on stage behind me, the hand rising. The left hand falls, drawing dark chords from the air, heavy and slow, heavy and slow. The right hand hovers. The pianist leans back, arms braced, face a pale mask. Then something changes in his breath. The right hand falls, his eyes flick open. He leans forward, all intent, and cold clarity fills out the room, light and dark drawing one into the other, hand conjuring with hand, what was there in the silence, what's here now in the blood? Melody, a pulse of grief, climbing urgent over the dark chords, stubborn percussive insistence, a run of notes crisp as frost. Lament and resolution, not grief, but the called in memory of grief. Thunder and lightning from the black grand, and all of us there holding our breath, while the human, the all-too-human maestro draws dark chords from the air, ancestral pain from memory, then soothes it away into the silence after, the dying hum of the hammered strings, the ripples lapping the walls as we repossess our hearts. Suivna shiri miha,
Through the sunsets on fire Searching for the island Of your heart's desire Where the sun is always shining The oranges grow on the trees You only have to wait two seconds there For everything you please In a garden of daisies In a circle of light Searching for Thanks very much, and uh, I'd like to sing uh, one more song. It's called The Dance of the Cherry Trees, um, a celebration of the spring. Thank you. Shilio Luwaker version. Hit it, lads. The cherry trees every April in our town. They put on the most outrageous clothes and they sing and they dance around. Hardly anybody sings or dances, hardly anybody dances or sings in this town that I call my own. You have to hand it to the cherry trees, and they seem to be saying. One whole year Well done everyone Well done Cherry blossom in the air Cherry blossom on the street Cherry blossom in your hair And a blossom at your feet You know we've travelled all around the sun It's taken us one whole year Well done everyone Well done On behalf of me and the cherry trees well done well done everyone you know me 
sometimes I think I'm getting old Not as young as I used to be So it means even more to me To see the dance of the cherry trees And they seem to be saying Is it only to me? You know we've traveled all around the sun You know it's taken us one whole year Well done everyone, well Traveled all around the sun You know it's taken us one whole year Well done everyone Well done On behalf of me And the cherry trees Well done Thanks so much. Grimmy Mark of a card, will Kurugi fall to war live on group of Kyosha, us Balanaspig, Gwales called Irida.
Un to kërfad, gëllë skull i rëjë dhe baljën aspojk, kërkojk. We have some some beautiful music for you now from Olena Lesa Iglody, who is a fantastic, brilliant Ukrainian musician based here in Cork, and she's going to be joined on the piano by Michael Joyce. So please welcome Michael and Lesa.
I almost feel it's an insult to speak after a piece of music like that. That was so beautiful. Thank you again so much. Um, those of you who know me will know that I sometimes ask for things, and if I didn't ask, we wouldn't be here this evening. Um, I just want to make um, just a few short announcements. The more observant of you will have noticed that on the edge of each of your seats is an envelope with Ukraine appeal. At the end of every row, it may be on your seat. Um, so I would like, if people have time and if they have change before they leave the building this evening, if they would like to make a donation, we would be very grateful. And if you don't, there are QR codes on the pillars all around. And if you have a smartphone, you can also donate that way. So now that we have you, we're not letting you go. The other thing I wanted to mention, and it's very important, um, I work for Cork City Council, I have for a number of years, and I work in the Community Culture and Placemaking Directorate. Tomorrow evening, there are 75 more refugees coming into Cork that we will be housing, and they will be with us tomorrow evening. They will be arriving knowing nobody and having very little English. So for those of you who speak Ukrainian, who are free this weekend, any time on Saturday or Sunday, um, I have a signing sheet here where we're basically looking for people to make themselves available simply to meet with these people and make them feel welcome, as you have heard this evening. So before you go on your way out this evening through the exit doors, folders like this will be on the tables. If you have time over the weekend, any time at all, to meet these people and make them feel at home, I would like you to put your name, number, and um, contact details on that email if you have it. It will be used for that purpose and that purpose alone, so for data protection purposes. Um, your details are safe, it will be used by City Council only for that reason. I, I didn't tell the entire truth when I spoke earlier when I said this concert was as a result of a mad idea. It was, but without contacting and without reaching out to the Ukrainian community in Ireland, um, this even wouldn't have been the success it is, and it wouldn't ha have the purpose it has, which is to provide money to the Ukrainian appeal here in Cork. So we were very lucky, again, in making a simple phone call, and again over coffee, there's a theme here, um, to meet with a representative of the Association of Ukrainians in the public in the Republic of Ireland, somebody who had already, in the previous 48 hours, been part of a convoy that brought um, much needed provisions um, to Ukraine from Cork. So I would like to introduce to you this evening, Tetiana Buhera. Доброго вечора. Я рада вітати своїх земляків в цьому залі і дуже надіюсь, що вам подобається все те, що відбувається сьогодні тут. Welcome. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I wanted, when I said what I said just now was to welcome my fellow countrymen into Cork and I hope they feel welcomed here and they feel that this country gives them the place where they can feel safe and where they feel they matter. So as Chris mentioned, the idea of this event came out of an informal coffee talk just less than a few weeks ago. And um, when Chris called me, I was actually busy um, arranging one of the um, humanitarian convoys, which happened to be actually the largest convoy of humanitarian aid that ever left the island of Ireland. And it only shows how generous and kind Irish people are. Thank you so much for being so nice and kind to all the Ukrainians. The, this iconic building, now lit with the colors of my country, is very important for us because it shows that people matter, that Ukrainians matter, that we are welcome here, and I would like to thank everyone who bought a ticket and came to this concert because all the money will go to the charity which will then buy the aid and use the fund to help integrate the Ukrainians who came to this island to be part of the community. I also would like to thank on behalf of all Ukrainians to the beautiful musicians and singers 
who have generously offered their time and talent and you know, welcomed us to this city hall. John Spilan, Faron T, thank you so much. Chris Dorgan and Cork City um, Council for the venue and the technical support. Thank you so much. <laughs> and to every single person in Cork for your love and support. Thank you so much. Uh, Gahaling. Well, so far, so good, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go back to some more music now, and we've got a wonderful, we're very lucky, of course, in Cork to have um, our own Goyatucht in the Muscari, Goyatucht going to the And we've got a wonderful singer now who is a champion singer, Gwil Corden E. Riada in a polka, okay? Agus, um, Kurigi Fautavur, Riv, um, As Bailan Goyerig, um, Nel Nikronin. Um, great to see such uh, a wonderful crowd here tonight um, for such a great cause. Um, so I was thinking what kind of song I'd sing. So I'm going to try um, a song which is an Ashling, which is a type of song. Um, these are kind of political songs. And um, this country many moons ago was being bullied by another country also. But like the Ukrainians, we stood our ground. And uh, the political message behind this one is... Um, for people not to lose hope and to keep the faith. So um, that's the message I'm sending to all of the Ukrainians here and over in the Ukraine. Mahasavarv. Um, so this is called Ermadin and Egum. The yarkus a plary of the hair of him, him, Paul, and all the behavior book he The frabus, the rest, the goodest, the core, the vassus, the higgers, nor wish to them hard. A blush, a gumilation, him, a lebiol, let an of leg, Rasker noch, Rasker noch, 
So this is a, a love song, I suppose, um, that has a happy ending, um, where this man is telling us all about his life and how happy he is with his wife and how madly in love they are. So it's a song called um, Tham Shugas Mare. <coughs> Tham shugus margus as the narnagine, O nasca ge barching ignal or rovanhe. Hog shishigura har hardugus far of rum, the hogus her livey scuburak brach ni scarred mead bets a shined kyoil. Partini bail a gum rexvaldi or rexvaldi idle daidi. Tom a high looks a night is fairer than my lisha. He bark and throw in a hard in shachnakre. Kurinach the fast on ho hard a snucklacha. Smay a felt and cross on the govek and may a big yet bets a shined kyoil. Party ni bail a gum rexvaldi or rexvaldi idle daidi. Ta tarihi fa sim garden gus lacht he Ulis bio nine a gus kari ni daraga Shukra imalala raga tashke he Khan so vis mil shine dan vabis dan vanal trabets a shined kyol Party ni bail a gum rex valdi or rex valdi idle daidi she michael is shimara and star van valvashuel he lures the hiavanis and vabere has gerocht stuck in the live is nubirain in tea prabberning he a knit oil is a corona and then land the vein bets a shined kyol party ni bail a gum rex valdi or rex valdi idle daidi Shem a week on the Nordic grass at the scuppering, is galandig and toss and gun water gun as for ring. Your hooky glan or even not refuge as a fet. Good dog, a dear live shing in our dug a par of her spets a shined girl. Party ni bail a gum rex valdi o. Rex Valdi, I edel daiti. So, let me know how good. Dear Liat Gudio and El Nichronin, as you can see, we're coming on strong with the Cork Gaelic vibe tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, what we have for you next is unbelievable. Four women pipers from Cork. Cork um, Gaelic <laughs> vibe. Um, Heather Clark, Molly Negroda, Moira Negroda, Ogs Rosalind O'Leary, Manana Beob.
much. That was a slip jig um, of Farrell's Welcome to Limerick. And we'll go on now with a Turlough O'Carrollan piece um, called Madam Maxwell. say on behalf of us all how very happy we are to be part of this welcome to the Ukrainian people here tonight. We are so sorry at what is happening in your country and to your people. So it's lovely to be part of this welcome. Um, we're going to finish with two reels. Uh, the first is the old bush and the second is Virginia. the Virginia. <laughs>
Where would you get it, lads? Where would you get it, ladies and gentlemen? Only on Sohanocht, Holland, the Kaharuk, Igurkuig. Well, um, because we live in Cork, like, you know, because we had a Gael skull from the south side, we have to have a Gael skull from the north side as well. So, uh, Kurgi Falter, Riv, um, Gael skull, Gortaling.
And those chairs are heavier than they look, you know. They don't call it ungirthalling for nothing. Yeah, hey. Hey. Um, this is Casey. Um, I suppose in every culture since the dawn of time, there's an idea of the paradise garden at the heart of things. And, you know, I suppose we all dream of finding our paradise. But I always have a special place in my heart for the people who get there and turn aside because somebody needs help. Somebody needs a hand. This poem is called The Promised Garden. There is a garden where our hearts converse at ease beside clear water, dreaming a whole and perfect future for yourself, myself, our children, and our friends. And if we must rise and leave, put on identity and fight each day more desperate than the last and further from our future, that is no more than honor and respect shown to all blocked from the garden that we own. There is a garden at the heart of things. Our oldest memory guards it with her strong will. Those who by love and work attain there bathe in her living waters, lift up their hearts and turn again to share the steep privations of the hill. They walk in the market, but their feet are still. There's a garden where our hearts converse at ease beside clear water, dreaming a whole and perfect future for yourself, myself, our children, and our friends. I've reached my present ripe old age by not doing foolish and dangerous things. And I have been warned by Karen Casey, I'm not to say how wonderful I think she is. And I promised her I wouldn't. And I was warned by Karen Casey, I was not to say how honored I am that she's joining me on stage for this poem. So of course I won't say it. And that should keep me safe. The wonderful Karen Casey. Um, we're going to try something, yes, don't behave yourself. I know it's safe to tell her behave herself because she can't hit me up on stage, but I don't know about when we get off. Um, I'm thinking, of course, we're all thinking of the women and men and boys who are putting their lives on the line in Ukraine for their liberty, for their freedom. And 1991, 75th anniversary of the Easter Rising, um, the state decided that the best thing to do about it was to do nothing and hope it would go away. And there was a lot of talk at the time about what should have happened, should it have happened, shouldn't it have happened. And I have no patience with that because you cannot redo history. But whatever liberty we have, whatever freedom we have, those men and women who died, who were imprisoned in 1916, they did it for us. They put themselves on the line so that we might enjoy whatever liberty we have. So whether you think you'd have been with Redmond or with Pierce, I don't care. It doesn't mean anything to me. What does mean anything to me is that people in our family lines thought liberty mattered enough and freedom mattered enough to put their lives on the line for it. So they deserve to be honored. We organized a concert in Kilmainham Jail uh, musicians, actors, poets, singers, and we'd borrowed the Star Connolly Starry Plow and one of the Easter Week tricolours, and we hung it over the stage, and Frank Hart stood up to sing, and this is what happened. And Karen was going to put doom-laden chords underneath. <laughs> Kilmainham Jail, Dublin, Easter 1991. Roadies and ponytails stringing lights and cables. A beer can popped in the corner. Echo of sound check. Outside, in the filling yard, hum of expectation. We poured through the narrow gate under the gallows hook in twos and threes, becoming an audience. Before the lights go down, 
we examine each other shyly. The singer surveys his audience, heat rising to the tricolour and plough overhead as the first words of Galvin's lament claim to invoke James Connolly's ghost. We are joined by the dead. I say this as calmly as I can. The gaunt dead crowd of the catwalks, shirt-sleeved, disbelieving. The guards had long since vanished, but these looked down on us, their faces pale. I saw men there who had never made their peace, men who had failed these many years to accept their fate, still stunned by gunfire wounds, fear for their families, paralyzed until now by the long volleys of May so long ago. I think that we all felt it, their doubt and their new fear, the emblems so familiar, the setting, our upturned faces, so unreal. Only the dignity of the singer's art had power to release them. I felt it, I say this calmly. I saw them leave in twos and threes as the song ended. I do not know that there is a heaven but I saw their souls fan upward like leaves from a dry book sped out into the night by volleys of applause, sped out, I hope, into some light at last. I do not know that I will ever be the same again, that soft-footed gathering of the dead into their peace was like something out of a book in Kilmainham jail. I saw this, I felt this, I say this as calmly and lovingly as I can. Gurmagos, Karen Casey. Uh, we're getting there now, lads. I think there's four more uh, pieces of music. Hope we're not keeping you too long. Uh, please welcome my new friend from, uh, from the Ukraine, Oksana. I will, I will sing a lullaby, and I want to, uh, to wish that every children uh, all, for all the world has only calm, silent, safe, and good nights and sweet dreams. And I also want to say thank you to your country, every city, Cork, Kinsale, who gave us a shelter, and every people, Mala, Fergus, Rea, <laughs> Carmen, Peter, you, all people, you gave us so much love and care. This is incredible. Thank you very much. Estas 
Thanks so much. Well, um, we thought it would be good for a celebration of Cork music and Ukrainian music to ask Jimmy Crowley to come up from Cove and sing Salonika and the Boys of Fair Hill. Uh, so uh, please welcome the one and only uh, Jimmy Crowley. Oh, and the Cayley All Stars, please approach the stage. And also, um, why not? Karen Casey, um, let's let's head for let's go for it, lads. The final furlong and the blaze of glory. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll welcome Karen Casey and uh, Nell Necroni and anyone else who wants to come up. Uh, we're going to do Salonica and uh, Fair Hill. Hit it, Jimmy. How's the form anyway, Jimmy? How are you getting on? I'm middling, you know. Middling, John. Quise on the muita. You're pushing on, oh, Jimmy, aren't you? Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks, John. <clears throat> well, folks, it's a great honour to be here and a great pleasure. And the, the song has never really died out because it's, it's about war. And very much from the female perspective and how the women, the women saw an extra dimension to all this suffering and madness. And it's a conversation between, political debate between two different classes of Cork people. Some of them had husbands in the First World War in the trenches, and the others had people, had a, some of the other women had people in the IRB, in the IRA, and the, uh, the movement to get a free Ireland, which was happening at the same time. There's, there's quite a lot of juxtaposition, and there's even a bit of humour in this, believe it or not. But it's a great song that has stood us in good stead, and it's called Salonica. Hit it, Jimmy. Okay. All right, lads and lassies. Yeah. I suppose just count to three or something like that. One, two, three. Oh, me husband's in Salonica I wonder if he's dead I wonder if he knows He has a kid with a foxy head Right away So right away Right away, soldier, I. But when the war 
is over, what will the slackers do? They'll be all around the soldiers for the Lord of above or two. So right away. Over, what will the soldiers do? Walking around with a leg and a half of the slackers to the troops right away. So right away. So right away, Salonica, right away, be soldier by. They taxed her pound of butter, they taxed her halfpenny bun. But still, with all the taxes, they can take the bloody on. So right away, right away, right away, right away, right away. so right away, Salonica, right away, me soldier boy. And they tax the Coliseum, they tax the Mary's Hall. Why don't they tax the bodies with their ass to give the one? So right away, right away, so right away, right away. Right away. So right away, Salonica, right away, me soldier boy. But when the war is over, what will the stackers do? For every kid in America, in Cork there will be two. So right, right away, right away, so right away, right away, so right away, so right away, so right away, right away me soldier boy. For the takes us out of Nardy, the lays us on the glass, puts us in the family way, lives us on the ass. Right away, so right, right away. away. Right away, Salonica, right away, me soldier boy. Before that I was married, I used to wear a shawl. But now the war is over, it's hanging in Jones's barn. Right away, so right away, so right away, so right away, so right away Salonica, right away, me soldier boy. There's lying home in the parlour and in the kitchen too. Last back shepherd air that we got from Dickie Blue. So right away, 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 so away, me soldier boy. Now never marry a soldier, a sailor or a marine. Keep your eye on the sink and buy a jenna white and green. Right away, so right away, so right away. Thank you very much. Man. What a beautiful band. Jimmy, oh. will you sing the boys of Fair Hill? I think about it, John. John, I don't mind myself a Burt Bacharach there conducting his little orchestra. Isn't it wonderful to be able to do that? Finally. It's great to have a great band. Great. Put that chair for all the great musicians, folks. We have this. North Cork and beyond. John. Kesh, me catch the goods or I'm so sorry. Oh, you said yes, they both there, is it? Jimmy, would you think of singing the boys of Fair Hill since we're here, like? Yeah. I would. I'll tell you what, I'll sing the original verses for you. And you can come in with your kind of. The, the song was the verses that the people of Cork wrote. In Jimmy has the original song, which was a sporting song, and I have the verses that were written at the back of the bus. in their glee Evergreen flowers would make your heart thrill The boys they will not harm you, the gavel soft would charm you Here is up to us, said the boys of Fair Hill Now come on boys and spend the day with our bowling clubs of hay The 
off down the bowl, it'll make your heart thrill. Oh, when you hear the shape I say, to me the ladies won the day. Here's a Pomara says the boys are fair. Boys and spend the day with your hurry, your club's okay. Around the crappy boy and the road called the king. And when you hear old Shea Boy say, the armor car has won today. Here's a man says the boys are fair here. Come on, boys and spend the day with your horn and club's okay. The clash of the ash, it'll make your heart ring. Oh, when you hear the ship, I say, Here's up the moss and the boys of Fair Hill. Shandon steeple stands up straight. The river leaf lies on the bed. Here's up the moss and the boys of Fair Hill. Oh, Blackpool girls are very rude. They go swimming in the noon. Here's up the moss and the boys of Fair Hill. But they are no good at all. Up begin the sun be wild. Thought that they were stars until, until they met with Saint Finbar. Here's up the nose the boys of Fair Hill. Christy Ring, he hooked the ball. He hooked Christy Ball and all. Here's up the nose and the boys of Fair Hill. Oh, Blarney Egg, Blarney Hens don't lay at all. A windy day, stay there so small. Here's up the nose and the boys of Fair Hill. Says crew beans. Here we go. Here's up the mountain, the boys of Fair Hill. Come on, boys, and spin the day. With our bowling clubs okay, the clash of the ash, it'll make your heart thrill. And when you hear the ship, I say, the armored car is one to be. Here's up the masses, the boys of Fair Hill. Now come on round to Mikey's pub, if you want to join our club. Round our St. Gallons, the border will flow. Stuff to give them, says the boys of Fairhill. Jimmy Crowley. Thank you so much. Good to meet you, Michael, for the card. You're still going strong, Jimmy. You never lost that boy. Uh, thanks so much. Uh, well, we're going to um, welcome our Ukrainian friends up now um, to sing the Ukrainian national anthem, everybody. And uh, then we're going to do uh, Miguel Amar, then out the door like a shot. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you're enjoying the evening. And please welcome um, Oksana, Olena, Lesa, Iglori, Nadia, and all our friends for and Michael Joyce on the piano and here we go with the Ukrainian national anthem thanks
going to meet Emil Magwith. Um, thank you all so much. What a lovely night. And we're going to finish off with Mughila Mar. And we'd like to welcome Manon, Nabi, Barasher, and Nordon. August, the Pash and the Gwell Skull. Gwell Skull, Iriada, August, um, Gwell Skull, the Gwell
Marvin, Ivar, Kolosov, Ilebuet.